Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look right here. I haven't played it in makeup in so long, so I'm really happy that I'm doing this right now. So I did use a subscription box from Deck of Scarlet today to create this look. And I just wanted to thank them for partnering with me on this video. I will talk about them in a bit, but before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. I can find my phone. So today's post notification shout out goes to Sweater Cordy. So thank you so much, hun. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know when you have done so in the comments below. But yeah, we'll just jump straight into it. All right, so I already have my eyebrows done and I've already primed my lids with some concealer. I'm gonna go straight into talking about the Decca Scarlet palette. Decca Scarlet is kind of like a subscription service and every two months you get like a palette that is in collaboration with a YouTuber which is so cool. And in the palette you get some eyeshadows, blushes, highlight, it depends on the palette and it's different every time and you get some lippies as well. To get the subscription box it's around $30 and, and in pounds that's even cheaper and they do ship for free in the US and like in the UK I think it's like I did check it was like seven dollars so I think it's pretty affordable for what you're getting yes it is a subscription service but if you want to cancel you can cancel anytime you want and if you want to like skip a palette you can do so because before the palette comes out they kind of give you a preview of it so let's say you don't really like it and you don't want to pay for that one you can skip it and then wait for the next one but yeah there's a lot of flexibility with the service and I think Again, that's really great too. I have done some videos with their palettes before and I'm so glad to be partnering with them on this video. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. This uh, month's palette is in collaboration with Belle Jordan. So when you get the box, you kind of open it like this and you get your little palette and sometimes you get like two little products or one product. It changes every month and according to the YouTuber. To be honest, out of all the palettes that they've done, you can see all the palettes that they've done on the website. Um, this one would probably be my most favourite when I look at the colours and the deepness of it. I'm really, really excited. Um, oh my god, and this um, Belle Jordan is British. I think I've heard of her before because I've her pictures here and I've seen her before. All about heavy metallics, pigments that pop and plenty of sparkle, which is so me. She embraces cruelty-free makeup. Oh my god, and yes, Deck of Scarlet is cruelty-free. So you get the palette like this and it comes with a sleeve so you just slide that off. You have a little section for your eyeshadows and the powders and then you've got a little section for the lips. I don't know about you guys but I love the colours in here. They're deeper in real life to be honest. I don't know if you can see like much deeper so the packaging is super sturdy and you get a mirror in it which is super helpful so like i said my lids are already primed i'm gonna go straight into applying some eyeshadow so i'm gonna take this color right here first might pack it on i need a small brush I'm gonna bring it all the way in the inner corner because I want to do like a cut crease. I haven't done a cut crease in so long. I'm just taking a clean brush to just diffuse the edges. <coughs> I just keep sneezing today, it's so annoying. So I want it a little bit tapered off to the corner, so I'm just doing that. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this shade called Drama right here. So this shade is a bit lighter than the that kind of cranberry colour which is called Crush but I'm okay with it, I'm just going to like buff it in here. Then I'm going to take this shade right here which is called Supernova, it's super sparkly, if you can see. And I might actually wet this shade, okay, so I'm just going to pack this on, oh that's a pretty shade. Oh wait, I forgot to cut the crease. I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Cam Full Cover Camouflage Concealer in C5. Okay, so now we can pack it on. Pop that shade right on. I 
then just between like the two colors right here i like to just tap that in and you can go back with that gray shade and tap that in as well and there we go that is so beautiful like i'm really pleased with that i'm just gonna take a bit of more bit more crush and kind of just deepen that cut crease a little bit more i'm just gonna use some of my rimmel glam eyes eyeliner The box does come with a sexy AF mascara. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna put this on. I love that they have a little bunny, cruelty free um, bunny on the packaging. So this is what the one looks like. I'm just really excited to try it. Just gonna let it dry a bit now. I might do like a second coat, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that whole look. I did put some mascara there, but I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna finish the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to prep my face using my Embryo Release Moisturiser. Just pop that on. And then for foundation today, I'm going to be using my Hourglass uh, Vanish Foundation Stick in Honey. Just looks like this. Might be a little bit light because I am more on the tan side at the moment. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to take my... L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Just pop a bit of that on. I'm just gonna buff this all in. The eyeshadow doesn't really give much fallout, which is a plus. Okay, so once that is done, I'm gonna use Concealer. So I think I'm just going to go with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today. Um, I'm actually really, really digging this eyeshadow. I'm also going to use some of my Fast Base Concealer in C13. I've been loving this just to kind of bronze my face. I just take a stippling brush and just blend that out. They literally blend like a dream. They're so nice. I definitely recommend these. Just give some colour back to my skin. For powder today, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder and I'm just going to do a little bit of bacon. Just press that underneath. It might look like crazy light, but it's okay. It, I really like this powder. Just tap off the excess when you use your sponge. And honestly, just brush that off straight away. Okay, before we finish the rest of the face, I am going to put, I'm going to finish the under bit of the eye, my lower lash line. <laughs> and we're going to use, again, I think we're going to use, I'm going to go with the blush colour. This one's called Whisper. And then we're just going to put this underneath. I'm going to use the Sexy AF Mascara. And we're going to pop this on my lower lash line. This mascara is actually really good because it just grips onto each lash and separates them. What I kind of like to do is just touch the actual lash line, like my skin, just a little bit, just to kind of like imitate a liner. Okay, I'm going to pop a bit of Whisper on my cheeks. If you put too much you can use your powder brush just to blend that away because you don't want to be looking like a a baby doll out here okay this shade is called shh shh okay i'm just gonna take a bit of that i'm gonna pop it on the highest point Ooh. so pretty 
Like it's really nice and gold, just like I like it. Just how I like it. Like, what? And then we're gonna go on to lips. Um, I am gonna use a lip liner. Um, I'm gonna use the Pure On Point Lip Liner in Vamp. We do have two lip colours, I'm going to go with Passion all over and then this one which is called Tempting in the centre. I'm digging this look. Alright so I think that's it guys. That's kind of like a whole look with this palette, really. I think I've got three others, but out of all of them, out of all the others that I have, like this is definitely my favourite because for my complexion, and everything is just so pretty. Like, and I love purples, and I know I've been keeping this background a lot, but it's just like it's my favourite colour, and it's just so pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to check Deco Scarlet out. I'll leave a link in the info box. Yep, <laughs> and yeah, I will see you in my next one.